Hey guys, just a quick update to the MIDI merge and split implode and explode topic. Something I forgot to show in the last video, and that is some things that you could actually do from the arrange view to manipulate those MIDI items and how that will be applied once you merge the MIDI together. So let's take this MIDI item and we'll explode to uh, by pitch. And, this, and by the way, this is also in one of these menus here, uh, item processing, explode to one channel items or explode by pitch. So let's explode by pitch. And so that's taking that chord and arpeggio pattern. And let's just take, uh, let's take kind of these three at, at random. Here's what we can do. We can scale the velocity here by dragging the item volume down. So I just drag that to 0 0.30. If I look at the inside in piano mode, so these are now a velocity of, of about 81. So scale the velocity. Uh, I'm going to take this one. I'll use the item properties window and make a pitch adjustment. So let's just put that up 12 semitones. And I'll take this other one and I'll do minus 12. Just a simple change. All right. So I'll take all of these. Actually, I'll delete this first item. Take all of these and MIDI merge. There's my MIDI merge action. Run that, close that, put that up there. And now all those changes that I made uh, with the velocity that was there and uh, changing the octave is included in that item now. And besides doing that, we could also, um, we could also adjust like the timing of things. So we can move that over like that. We could, um, split that and then, I don't know, duplicate this a couple times. Take that away, take all of these items, merge them with my MIDI merge action, and all those edits are um, in that file. So there you go, just some additional things you could do with that MIDI merge and split uh, functions and, and more reasons why you would want to use that. Uh, so that's it. See you guys later.